Today I'm going to show you how to make a static electricity generator that can put out almost 300 kilovolts to do some fun static electricity experiments in the home. With this dry winter weather or fall weather, it's much better to do static electricity experiments because typically static tends to easily discharge through moist air. So this is the generator and it contains what's called a Cockcroft Walton multiplier array and there's 12, a total of 12 stages to this one. Then to reduce the amount of current that flows out of it, I've put this long resistor cone embedded in wax and then there's a cork on top. So the wax fills this tube. The resistors, they're 850 kilo ohm resistors, so 13 of them are connected together in a long chain that goes down the center of this PVC pipe. And then I measured the resistance and it came to about 11 mega ohms. And then the end of the resistors at the bottom here is connected to the positive terminal on the CW multiplier. And then the negative, which is this one, end is connected to earth ground. So this is gonna spray off a lot of positive charge. And then the alternating current, the high voltage alternating current to make this thing run comes from a um, Mazzilli driver. So this is a Mazzilli driver, which I made. You can buy these things really cheaply on eBay and on Amazon or even AliExpress. But I just made this one. And then I'm using rectified uh, AC. So it comes here. There's my rectifier. And it comes from this Variac. So that's the basic setup. Now I'm going to show you, first of all, how I made this resistor, this 11 mega ohm fire, uh, high voltage resistor. So let's begin. I'm gonna hold it until it gets solid. Okay, this is a typical CW multiplier or cockcroft Wharton multiplier circuit. And the number of stages in this one is three stages. So if I had 24 diodes and 24 capacitors, that would be 12 stages. And the voltage output is given by this formula. Voltage, AC voltage input, times the number of stages, times two, times 1.42. So this gives you the formula for the voltage. So if I had five kilovolts going in, I'd have 170 kilovolts coming out theoretically. And if I had 10 kilovolts going in, I'd have 340 kilovolts going out theoretically. So this uh, just summarizes the, how this circuit is set up. So basically what I have is I've got 24 of these 2CL, 2FM, 100 milliamp, 20 kilovolt diodes. And then I've got the same number, 24, 20 kilovolt, one microfarad ceramic. Actually, one that should be one picofarad, not microfarad. So that's one picofarad. Let me correct that. One picofarad ceramic capacitors, two or three liters of mineral oil, and some HV cable, and, and a plastic standoff. So if you notice, in this container, it's not sitting on the floor of the container. It's kind of sitting in the middle of the container because the high voltage could jump outside of the container through the air. So I have it sitting in the middle of the oil. And I did that by getting a, uh, this one's a opti optiplex, but you can use Lexan and bend it by heating it up to get this kind of shape for your typical standoff. So that's the basic circuit, resistor column. And now for testing on our first human subject. Let's begin. Cafe. 
Yeah. Let me turn off the power first and then you can let go of that thing. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn up the voltage. Here it goes. Yep, it's working. You look like the Medusa. Mm -hmm. Now stick your, your hand out and let's see what happens off your nails. My hand? Like, like that. Blowing off static electricity. A little bit more voltage. I don't want to overdo it. Here you go. Wow. That's better than the Van de Graaff generator. All right, I'm turning it on. Restoring the charge, you're positively charged. You want to mess with this? Okay. Here, let's do this. What do I have to hold? Just, just touch it. The, the plastic? The metal part. But the metal part is shocking. It'll give you a little one. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, you're discharged now, look. You put your hand near it, but not touch it. Just put your fingertips near it. It's near, sticking to my face. Near the bulb. Bit of tissue. Yeah, it is standing, look. See it's standing upright? It's not flopping down. No, but turn the power off. Let's see what it does. Now, if, if I touch you, if you touch my knuckle, let's see what it does. Oh. See? Interesting.